Good morning, good morning everyone. Okay, so we've got a few decent pushers this morning, a few decent gappers. There's a RGSE, it's running up, it's at 164. VTGN is sitting at 137. CNET, CNET, gapping up to 436, 437. GE, General Electric, gapping up some as well. I'm going to go ahead and add my watch list to the chat and then review what's moving this morning. All right, so here's my watch list. All right, so we got VTG in pushing up as well at 137. A COGT starting to gap up some. You can see it just made a push this morning, I believe. Yeah, this morning's making a push. So that's one to keep an eye on. Um, let's see what else. ANTH maybe. INO. PXS. FSLR, a little bit bigger of a stock, but pushing up nicely. EGO. ARWR. HMNY maybe, CRBP, but back to my watch list, there's CNET, you can see C, uh, CNET probably has the most volume out of most out of, out of uh, my watch list this morning, RGSE has pretty decent volume as well, then there's AMRN, SUNW, INO, DPW, HTGM, PXS, PIXY. All right, there goes CNET, uh, CNET up to 454 now. Big move, break it over the half dollar area. A lot of movement. Went all the way up to 448, dropping back down now. Got to keep an eye on this one for sure. Watch Sun W over 145, maybe that 150 level. AMRN went all the way up to 501, came all the way back down to 437. Still technically gapping up some, but gave up most of the big push it made. INO sitting at 476. PXS coming down some, sitting at 196. We're gonna see what it does at two dollars for PXS. A DPW looks to have had some support at 220. We're gonna keep an eye on it there. ZIOP sitting at 528. You can see there goes CNET getting up to 458 now, breaking over the high of pre market. Big move. Got 
got up to 459 so really big move good morning JT what's up guys all right so let's see which ones of these are tradable on trade net Our GSE is BTGN, CNET, OPTT, SunW is not, AMRN is, INO is, DPW is, PXS is, HTGM is. So 9 out of 10 stocks are tradable on TradeNet this morning. That's always a good thing. Got some decent runners this morning. So today is dip buy day. I'm going to be trading dip buys, looking specifically for dip buys. That's right, Frank. Dip buys today. We'll see how that works out. Big gap down on PVG. You can see PVG is gapping down a pretty big amount. Down from 1079, sitting at 881 now. Went as low as seven dollars and seventy-seven cents. Uh, dip buys would be like you know I know this is pre-market on CNET but you can see it pushed up and then it dipped back down and then essentially buying it at support and riding it up you know with a uh, exit around the high of the day maybe letting it test the high of the day uh, like like I said on CNET here's a, an example of it dipping and pre-market you can see it pushed up and it dipped back down and then came back down to the support level right here and then buying it at the support and riding it up with a potential exit of the high of the day or maybe you know selling half at the high of the day letting the rest run to see if it could break the high of the day you know either one might work nice Bubba Yeah, it's going to be a little bit longer term holds for me, so I'm kind of excited for it. We'll see how it goes. INSY. Yeah, INSY looks decent. Gapping up some. Let's see if it holds over 10. MHI new. What is the volume pick up a little bit more with MHI? ELRX gapping up some GoPro uh, no uh, I have a uh, scanner uh, I use trade ideas BLRX BOIL Gapping up some as well. ENPH. Tried to gap up. SRNE was a mover from yesterday. We'll see if it starts to run some more.
CCXI, ABEO, MIHI. Yeah, MIHI is OTC, so unfortunately I can't trade. I can't trade. <clears throat> I can't trade this one. Sorry. Voice is going out. LPL. Small gap. I N O. Yeah, no problem, Noah. R V L T. All right, so there goes CNET breaking over the high of the day. It's at 460 now. It wants CNET. Probably has the most volume out of everything else this morning that I see. Up to 468 now. You see RUNs gapping up some as well. It's closed at 604, sitting at 640. All right, so CNET went all the way up to 469. TNXP gapping up some, IVAC, MNGA technically gapping up some. All right, so CNET went all the way up to 470. FNJN had that gap up as well. All right, so CNET sitting at 475. Good morning, Tad. VSLR, yeah, I have that one on my other monitor. Capping up some. There's Sun W, but it's not my favorite one just because it came all the way back down to 120. We'll see what it does here. INO looks okay. Uh, so does PXS. Is it really? Good morning, Ali. 478, 477. 479 that is weird well I, I guess it's moving really quickly up to 482 yeah I think CNET might be a short at the open but today's dip buys for me but it looks like it may be a good short PLUG VTGN coming all the way back down to 130 PIXY, PXS. Mm -hmm. Right, Bubba, I'm hoping so, man. Good morning, Power Zone. BIOC. Yeah, it's gapping down some. We'll see if it fills some of that gap back up. BLRX. Yeah. This one's gapping up a small amount. HCLP, 
sitting at 1405 now getting some getting a little push there Good morning, Philip. Welcome, uh, W. Chabelle. Welcome, guys. All right, so we got CNET sitting right around 480. This one's just so extended right now. We'll see if it uh, washes out at the open. Volume's decent in the market this morning. We'll see what happens at the open. All right, there goes CNET going up to 485. <laughs> What's up, Philip? Always with the donuts and coffee, man. Uh, let me look it up. On CNET, let's see what. Or let's see what's making RGSE move. Uh, I'm not seeing any news on RGSE, but in, uh, Thinkorswim may be a little late with it. It looks like it's good news, hopefully, unless it's a pump. Um, CNET. CNET announced a new joint venture for blockchain technology development. So blockchain play on CNET. Uh, let's see what's other what's making everything else move Like a CNET man running big up to 502 these blockchain plays have been the biggest runner so far in the market this uh, new year Yeah, Ali I try to look up RGSC. I don't know if it's either think or swim being late with the news release But it's not showing anything from this morning showing a few things from yesterday Which it may be from yesterday's news story since it's not really doing much this morning. It was more yesterday that it was had that big run up. Let me see. All right, so RGSE is up following a report from the US Trade Representative which said that the president approved safeguard tariffs on washers and solar cell imports and so that's why RGSE is up from yesterday kinda of going sideways this morning but that's originally why it's gapping up uh, CNET is breaking over five now look at that move pretty big move on CNET HDLP gapping up, continuing to gap up some. Yeah, no problem, Ali. Yeah, CNET running big. Luckily, 9 out of 10 stocks on my watch list this morning are tradable on TradeNet, which is a pleasant surprise. You can see RGSE is. Uh, HCLP, I haven't checked. HCLP is. CNET is. INO is. I don't think SunW is. It's the one that's not AMRN. Is. DPW, PXS, HTGM, PIXY, so 
You just bought CNET TCB. Good luck, man. See if it pushes over in test five and uh, after hour or in pre market. <laughs> yeah who knows what CNET will do with the open it could continue to run or it could start filling some of that gap down down to that 450 area we'll see no telling really Back up to 496. INSY sitting at 1028. CHK. SWN looks interesting as well. CNET hovering right under that $5 level, sitting at 497 now. I don't know, man. You see that? I'm noticing that as well. That's weird. My clock is stopped. I'm not sure why my thinkorswim uh, clock is stopped. That's weird. I'm going to reset my thinkorswim. That's strange. Who knows? All right, yeah, I'm going to reset my thicker swim. Try to figure out why it stopped here. Try to reset it. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I mean, I don't really have any money on Think or Swim anymore. Um, I mean, here's Trade Nets charts. Trade Nets charts aren't too bad, you know. Here's my trade net setup. I actually like, I don't mind trade net charts. They're not too bad. I'm just not used to them. I like, uh, I prefer thinkorswim's charts.
There it goes. I got it to restart. I don't know what was going on with that. The clock's back though. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with that. But yeah, there's C CNET couldn't hold over five. EBIO. Yeah, I do like EBIO. It's sitting right under the whole dollar. I doubt EBIO is tradable on TradeNet, but I might look at it for on U stock. Oh, it is tradable. Man, everything's tradable on TradeNet this morning. That's great. All right, so we've got some decent movers this morning. Let's see if I can find anything else. Pretty big watch list, a lot of gappers this morning. Welcome TCB Elvis. GoPro. Yeah, GoPro after a big gap down. Man, this one's down. The last time I looked at this one, it was in the teens. So that's kind of crazy, it gapped down, or it's been down that much in the last few months. Maybe not the teens. I guess it was at 11 something the last time I looked at it. And there's Sun W, S U N W. Volume's all right, not bad, not great. But yeah, I think what Juan meant with CNET is that it is already so extended it's gapped up so much already that maybe a little bit risky to buy it all right guys it's 8:23. we have about seven minutes until the open OBLB, OBLN is halted, they said, I guess.
FNJN looks interesting. All right, so what's another blockchain stock? I think uh, RIOT is another blockchain. It's gapping up some. What's another one? Uh, VTGN maybe. Yeah, gapping up some. I'm trying to think of other blockchains to see if they're moving quite like the rest of uh, like CNET and the rest of them are. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in Texas, McTermite. Uh, Lewis, it's uh, it's point zero zero six cents per share, but there's a one fifty minimum per trade, and so if I use a hundred shares, it is three dollars for a round trip. Nice McTermite, welcome man. Yeah, it's been cold here in Texas lately, colder than it's usually been the last few years. It snowed twice in South Texas, which is extremely rare this year. Good luck, McTermite. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, McTermite, I'm around the Houston area. M-A-R-A -A and S-P-I. We'll see if they start moving. All right, guys, we have less than four minutes until the open. Good luck. Today is dip by day, so we'll see if we can find some decent dip buys. Gonna be a little bit longer term holds, I think, for the dip buys today. No problem, Lewis. No problem, man. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching, watching the stream, man. I've had, uh, yesterday we had over 120 people here, which is huge. I have over 2,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is really cool. For the longest time, I had less than 1,000, and so it's nice to see people watching, even though I'm not doing great with trading. Uh, let's see, we got three, two and a half minutes left. What's up, Sergio? What's up, man? Uh, there's a few ones gapping up, Sergio. There's RGSE, uh, CNET, CNET is probably the biggest gapper this morning that I see. Uh, SWN is, VTGN, SunW, HTGM a little bit. All right, so there goes CNET at 4.99 now. Broke over five dollars again. We'll see if it uh, holds over five this time. Nice, Preston. Yeah, man, I'm in uh, South Texas. I'm in, I'm around Houston. I'm not in Houston. I'm in the outskirts of Houston, but I'm from Louisiana originally. What's up, Proxy? Welcome, man. All right, guys, less than a minute till the open. Good luck, everyone. Hope everyone does well in the market.
We got CNET pushing over that $5 area right before the open. We got CNET sitting at 508. Uh, dip buys, Ato. Today's dip buy day. I'm going to be looking for dip buys. Market's opening right now. Good luck. All right, so there's the open. You can see CNET making a big leap at the open this morning. Went up to 527. Bring out the two minute chart since I'm looking for dip buys this morning. <laughs> Preston. All right, so CNET dropping down some. See if it holds at five. HTGM guys, HTGM went up to four eleven, four twelve on HTGM. RGSE coming down some. But yeah, look at HTGM's move. Pretty big move so far relative to what it's done previously. Up to 417 on HTGM. ENPH. GBR, look at GBR guys. GBR is on a big tear. Ugh. Really? I don't know what's going on with the uh, trade net. Wouldn't let me log in at first. It finally let me in. There we go. All right, so GBR is dipping back down some after a little run this morning. There's a dip in GBR. Look at INO, guys. INO. Up to 490. PXS. Look at PXS as well. I think your swim's lagging. But PXS pushed up really nicely, up to 215. They got INO pushing up big.
All right, so HTGM pulling back some. You can see that big move on INO. GBR pulling back some, PXS. INO breaking the high of the day at 493 now. PXS did it get 212? INO getting up to 495. EBIO, I know somebody brought this one up earlier. EBIO trying to get up over a dollar. LTBR running pretty big. I N O still watching it. A M R N trying to have a little washout long here. R U N. Watching I N O for a potential dip by here. get rejected here on I and O. RGSC coming all the way back around here.
All right, so I'm in INO with 50 shares. Looks like it's struggling to hold over five. Are you in? Looks like a potential dip by there as well. Uh, you know, back up over five. Nice, up to 505, 507. Let's see if the spread can get a little bit better here. Don't really like that pullback on INO. Let's see what it does here. Dropping some to see if it holds support over five. I'll try to let it hold support over this previous low right here at about 495. See if that works. ARGS I'm gonna go ahead and set a stop for 493 with INO. And then I'm looking at are you in here after this dip? Alright, so I got stopped out of INO. There's a small dip on are you in I'm watching for.
Nice job, Elvis. REXX. CRBP. I'm still kind of watching INO here because it this could be a pullback, a dip buy here. TGN uh, BTGN usually with a dip buy I want it to push up first and so we'll see maybe SWN for a dip buy SPWR A-K-E-R. Look at our ECR here. ECR is running up pretty big, up to 246. We'll see how it reacts to that 250 level. DPW kind of having a washout long here. CNET. Yeah, CNET's trying to reverse. ECYT. ECYT's pushing up some. Go see NET here. And AMRN. Trying to come back around. It's frustrating when I get out of a trade, barely get stopped out. I set my stop for 493. It touched 493. So my trade idea was correct. I just got out a little bit too early for INO RGSE FORD's been flagging a little bit all morning. RGSE. 
R-E-X-X. -X. Really frustrating with I and O. Went all the way back up to the high of the day. Barely got stopped out. I gotta focus on that. Dip buy should be a little bit longer term holds. And uh, I just got scared out of that one. It would have been a nice dip buy. There goes FORD, guys. Up to 301. SPWR breaking the high of the day IDRA HLX Look at AMRN here MBOT SRNE's washing out Look at ARGS, guys. ARGS. Look at ARGS here getting up to 270. MBRX kind of waking up with some volume. 
LEDs. LEDs testing five. LEDs got up to five fifteen. Came all the way back down, back up to five. Really crazy mover, huge spread on LEDs. Not gonna mess with it. MBRX washing out. All right, so here's a dip on ARGS. Yeah, I'm taking things a little slower today, guys. Don't want to rack up any losses, so looking for dip buys. CYTR had this big push. Needs a little bit more volume for me to really want to mess with CYTR. BIOC. Yeah, it needs some more volume. CYTR big wash. You know, looks to be dipping down here, testing five. A T E N. F O R D. Maybe AMRN here.
Watching AMRN for a possible dip buy right here with a short stop. MBOT's been running up this morning. DRNA. Alright, so I'm in uh, AMRN with 75 shares. Gonna see if it'll push over and test that high at 45. You can see DRNA is having a really big spike here. Went all the way up to 1065. TVIX looked like it would have been a good dip by there once it dropped back down. Yeah, AMRN, I don't know if it's going to do it. I'll give it a little bit of time here. CBO. Look at CBO here. Big push. Up to 129. AMRN is just not doing what I want it to. It's just not moving. Looking at DNRA for a potential dip buy here if it holds over 150.
ORPN. Pushing up some. AUY. Check out AUY, guys. Big move. Yes, Crimson. DDE. Waking up some DDE. ENRJ. All right, I'm thinking about buying DRNA here with the small shear size and just letting it run for a few minutes for a longer term hold. Kind of a bigger spread. ICON. Yeah, ICON's waking up some. GD, ICON pushing up here at 166, PXS, trying to make it back over two, and there goes ICON breaking over that previous high, it's got some resistance at 169. Uh, John, this is uh, Thinkorswim. I use Thinkorswim for charting. I like TradeNet, but I like Thinkorswim's charts better, so I just put my TradeNet window up next to Thinkorswim. ARGS big dip here a little bit too big of a dip for me to really want to get into FORD FORD trying to get over the high of the day here There goes FORD breaking the high of the day Up to 3.15 on FORD. has been running up all morning. Big dip on DRNA. Down to 1036. Thinking about buying DRNA on this dip and having a little bit longer term hold with it. And 
Needs to get some more volume in, though. That's the only problem. Man, I really need to work on holding these longer. Look at AMRN. Uh, would have been a nice dip buy. Definitely something I need to work on for sure. If you're just now joining us, I was in this one at 440 with 75 shares and uh, ended up getting out of it because it wasn't moving fast enough for me, which is something I need to work on for sure. Would have been a nice trade. Yeah, no problem, John. Look at that. Would have been a beautiful trade on AMRN. Would have made seven, eight dollars from it. Yep. Just so, just seeing that MR, frustrating. Would have been a beautiful trade. ENPH starting to run up a little bit. CNET's breaking on at the low of the day here. Uh. Yeah, Thinker Swim's free, John. CNET's breaking under the low of the day. Maybe a good short. Yeah, McTermite, but it wasn't really not going my way. It was just going sideways. You could see it just went sideways. Never really dropped under what I was looking for and would have been a really nice trade all the way up to 456 now. And so that was my fault. That was my uh, lack of patience. Dip buys are usually a little bit longer term holds. And so with that, I should have had the patience to wait for it. Uh, yeah, green. I have live data. This one's free. You just have to you have to sign some document to get it for free. Green. Uh, I can't remember what you have to sign. Somebody else might be able to remind you, but or remind me. But uh, it's free. You just have to sign some type of uh, liability disclosure or something verifying that you're not a professional trader. And if you do that, it's free. CNET dropping down to the 440s. Yeah, me too, Grant. Yeah, it's free. You have to sign uh, the. You have to sign some type of paperwork. Look it up on YouTube. There's probably a way to look it up on YouTube, but you just have to sign verifying that you're not a professional trader, and they'll give you uh, live feeds. Look at AMRN, bummed out, should have held. MRNS here, breaking the high of the day.
No, I don't trade options, uh, Kevin. I am looking forward to the desktop platform that Robinhood's coming out with, though. You can see AKER if you like these cheap penny stocks is breaking over the high of the day. I know I'm not trading that much today, guys. I'm trying to take it slow and uh, just have patience, look for good setups. It's been a rough few weeks, and so I'm just taking it slow. LSCC pushing up here. There goes MRNS. Uh, no, Grant. Uh, this is a this is a platform. Like you could see, I have a I have a small amount in my account. You can look and see. I have uh, ten fifty nine in my account. So it's my real account. Correct. I have a very small amount, like ten dollars in my account. HTGM. Yeah, HTGM's coming back over four. SGYP. SGYP's running up a little bit here. Uh, ten dollars and fifty cents Aiden <laughs> yeah I'm not trading with thinkorswim uh, I'm trading with trade net um, I'm just using thinkorswim for charting and so I actually don't have any money on thinkorswim I have ten dollars uh, I'm using trade net for my trades uh, I'm using thinkorswim just for their charting software because it's free it's real time and I like their charting software Uh, no green you don't have to deposit money uh, I know somebody's walked somebody else that was in the stream through it um, I can't remember where you go to I think you have to go to your uh, go to the TD Ameritrade website go to your account and um, I think you have to request real-time quotes by signing a document stating you're not a professional trader if I remember correctly I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think it's something along those lines um, and so it's you know, you don't have to deposit money into it. You just have to sign the document stating you're not a professional trader. What's up, Andre? F R L F. Yeah, it's OTC. Unfortunately, I can't trade it. A K E R is running up nicely though.
Yeah, CNET looked like a good short. Um, unfortunately, I'm focusing on dip buys only today. Um, Lewis, so I, I'm not sure, man. Um, I think Think or Swim probably their mindset is most likely along the lines of if they let people use their charting software for free, eventually they're going to since they get used to the charting software and the executions and stuff, eventually they're going to put money in a Think or Swim account and use them because they get used to their platform. So it's kind of like letting people use it for free in the hopes of them eventually liking it enough to deposit money and use Thinkorswim and use TD Ameritrade. There's MRNS running up here. Right, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, insurance. Uh, Olivier, I don't want to tell you what you should do or what you shouldn't do. Um, it's kind of a liability issue. Um, ENRJ, I'll look at it, but I mean, it just doesn't have any volume. You know, I can't say it won't push up, but it just doesn't have any volume. See, this is what's frustrating, guys. And, you know, I know my patterns are working here. AMRN would have been a nice trade. I was told you, I told you guys, I was thinking about getting in DRNA right down here at 1035. That would have been a nice trade, too. And so it's just been a frustrating. Uh, I just haven't been pulling the, uh, I haven't been jumping into trades when I need to. I think it's fear just because I've had a bunch of uh, red days in the last two weeks that it's just fear but this would have been a nice dip buy as well i think it's just my mental game that i need to work on ncna getting a volume spike here TRHC is coming down some. PACB, Pack B. AUY pushed up and then came back down to dip down. Volume slowing down a little bit. CYCC's trying here.
WHR. Uh, CNET, I'm not sure, Danny. I know it's been acting really crazy these last few days. HTGM. Volume just stopped on it. That is weird. I know trying to come back here up to five ten. Look at RGSC here trying to come back up. SKYS. SGYP. Yeah, our GSC's just been going sideways. FRLF. Yes, uh, uh, OTC, I can't get into it. I can't trade FORD on trade net either. CNAT getting a spike here. It's kind of a dip buy on pack B. Also, maybe a good dip buy on AMR in here. CYCC dipping down a little bit. Fork, F O R K. TX I N O may be a good dip buy.
SPPI. Yeah, DRNA would have been a nice dip buy as well. PXS trying to push up. Look at PXS here. Later, Andre. PXS trying to break over that previous high. Volume starting to go down. Well, to review today, I think dip buys are a viable option. Uh, there was a few good ones that I just didn't have the patience for. Uh, main one is PX or AMRN here. I wanted to get in at 437. Could have rode it up to 460. Would have been a beautiful trade. Just didn't have the patience to get into it. Um, a I N O same thing here tried to get in at 494 went up to 510 immediately after that just didn't have the patience so dip buys I'm gonna you know I think they're a good strategy um, I think today it was just my mental side that uh, hurt me more than anything but uh, I think I'm gonna do a power hour stream today Yeah, NVDA is just too expensive. DRNA would have been a nice dip buy as well. Just never jumped into it at 1035. Let's see PXS getting up to 208. Starting to run a little bit here. AMRN back up to 452. Really, Puck? Where are you from, man? Maybe I am that person. Who knows? F O R K S G Y P is slowly pushing up. It's at ten seven or two seventy seven. ACAD trying to get over $30. Oh. Yeah, I don't know, Puck. Maybe, man. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close the stream down now. I'll try to do a power hour stream today at about uh, 3.15 market time. And uh, I'll let you guys know if I decide to get into anything else. Still trying for that green day. Volume's definitely down in the market, so I'm going to go ahead and close it down. Yeah, no volume in the market. Yeah, good luck for the rest of the day, guys. I'll try to do a power hour stream today at 3.15 market time. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see that. Very small loss today. Uh, 
was trying to be very careful, didn't have the patience with the few uh, positions I decided to get into. The market's kind of went down in the uh, market lately. The volume's kind of gone down some since Christmas, and so I think that has a big uh, influence on why I haven't been doing as well, just because the volume hasn't really been there like it was during the holidays. And so, uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys a little bit later. Um, if you want to join the Power Hour stream, hit the subscribe button. If you click the bell next to the subscribe button, it will alert you every time I go live. And so be on the lookout for that, guys. And, uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys later. Oh, yeah, what do you guys want me to do for tomorrow's stream? Which, uh, which pattern for tomorrow's stream? I'm thinking either pre-market high breaks, um, reversals. Honestly, I want to try the dip patterns again, and so I may include that in tomorrow's stream as well. So if you want to see pre-market high breaks and uh, pre-market high breaks and dip patterns again tomorrow, press one. If you want to see reversals and dip patterns, press two. And if you want to see something else, let me know in the comments. Remember, if you want to see pre-market high breaks and dip buys, press one. If you want to see reversals and dip buys, press 2. Because if nobody votes, I'm just going to pick one. AUI, getting up to 350. Yeah, good idea, Juan. Alright, so Olivia wants... Olivier wants pre-market high breaks and dip buys. The reason I'm doing two for tomorrow is because pre-market high breaks is only a very small window. All right, so we got two for pre-market high breaks, one for reversals, three for pre-market high breaks. Appreciate it, Olivier. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, that's probably a better idea, Joshua. Honestly, like I have the money to get another trade net account with. I just thought this was a good case study on what works. And I think dip buy patterns actually work well. I think it was my side of it that didn't execute the trades perfectly. All right, so let's see. Let's count it up. We have one, two, three, four. Four pre-market high breaks and one, two, three. Two for reversals. Anybody else voting? If not, I'll let that be that. All right, so tomorrow is going to be pre-market high breaks and dip buys again. I've had pretty decent success with pre-market high breaks. Let me see if I can find an example of one this morning. Let me see. I'm trying to find to see if I can find an example of one. All right, so pre-market high breaks is what it's going to be. INO is a good example of a pre-market high break. You can see the pre-market high was right around here at 480, maybe 483, and once it broke it, it ran really nicely. Um, let's see if I can find another one. Got a few decent ones. Yeah, nothing else really broke the pre-market high, but that's why I'm going to use dip buys as well tomorrow. Alright guys, I'll see you guys later. Hit the subscribe button. Everyone click the like button on this video right now. We appreciate the support, so click the like button if you want to help support us. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'll try to do the power hour stream today. So if you want to join us at about 315 market time to look for swing trades and maybe jump in another trade 
uh, not following any specific pattern. Join us at 315. Click the bell next to the subscribe button and it will alert you when I do go live this afternoon. So yeah guys, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching and good luck for the rest of the day.